Okay. I'm uh, showing you guys this uh, Battle Ram deck that I made for the challenge, and I think it's probably the strongest deck right now for the Battle Ram challenge. Although it takes some finesse. So you see, I was thinking of playing Tombstone there, but since he played Executioner, I wanted to play Executioner my own, and I'm glad I did because that leaves my Tombstone free to count counter the Battle Ram on the right. I don't know if that Prince was a good idea. I guess I made him play uh, Electro Wizard Analog. But here, here's what I want to show you. So this is a use people probably haven't thought of for the Battle Ram yet. People always play their Miner in that spot. Um, but, uh, so I was able to block the Miner with the Battle Ram. And that's sort of a, I think, a use that people haven't really thought of. I think I'm going to block with the Giant. And it came out great timing because he just happened to play the Princess at the same time. I really wouldn't recommend playing Princess like he is unless you're playing a Zap Bait deck, Spell Bait deck. And I really thought of Lightning here, but uh, I didn't want to put myself behind in Elixir. I, I really wanted him to drop something else that I could Lightning. Here's the trick that most people don't know with the Battle Ram, against the Battle Ram, that uh, if you place the Tombstone in the other lane, you see how the Tombstone is a little bit to the left, the Battle Ram, if it's placed on the right, will just go straight for your tower. So, uh, if someone drops a Battle Ram on the opposite lane that your Tombstone is on, you gotta drop a Prince, you gotta drop a Zap with the Prince, gotta drop a Log with the Prince, or something like that. And that will stop it. Yep. Oh, I didn't get the Electro Wizard. So now that it's double elixir time, I feel a lot more comfortable lightninging. And you can see I used uh, the Battle Ram again like you would use uh, Ice Golem. So I just played it up there to distract. Here he's actually uh, sort of scaring me. Like he, He's uh, got more elixir than me. He's got better troops on the board. So uh, I think he gets some damage across at this point. Oh, and he drops the freeze on me, but, uh, no, it's, see, like, even though he had a elixir advantage, he wasn't able to translate it into damage past my defense. And, uh, I don't know about that battle ram, that was a bad decision, playing that into an executioner, not something you want to do. And lock, yeah, so... I would have logged anyways there, so him playing that princess was a, a bad call, but uh, he he obviously probably forgot that, I, or didn't know that I had logged my hand. And again, makes a mistake there by uh, dropping Ice Wizard and Executioner in a spot where I can lightning both of them. And now we're just going hard. This is when you push, push, because it's overtime. So I sort of realized uh, I'm probably not going to get through here with the Prince, but uh, I'm just going to cycle back to Lightning, and defend, and this game is ours, you know? So yeah, there's the Lightning. Good. 